Hey guys, here's your gaming news for today, Monday, February 2nd. You can find the source links in the description below to learn more about each topic. According to the official Club Nintendo site, 117 games are available to download spanning Nintendo 3DS, Wii, and Wii U hardware to be claimed before March 31st. The rewards, which Nintendo is making available in conjunction with the discontinuation of Club Nintendo, allow members to trade in coins they earned for items. Nintendo announced the end of Club Nintendo last month, saying it would be replaced by a new unnamed program. Products released after January 20th are ineligible for rewards in North America. Madden NFL has correctly predicted the winner in 9 of the past 12 Super Bowls, but may have pulled off its most remarkable tout yet, nailing both the winner and the exact final score. Madden's misses had it picking the Denver Broncos to win last year, taking the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2011, and going with heavy favorite New England in 2008. Everything else it's gotten right since 2005. If someone used Madden's predictions to bet the game, they'd be 8-4 and four against the point spread. The latest project from veteran comic book writer Marv Wolfman is an official novelization of Rocksteady Studios' upcoming action game, Batman Arkham Knight, which launches later this year. Wolfman announced the news on Facebook, saying he's relieved to finally be able to talk about the project. The book is due to release in July. A new patch for the PC version of recently released open-world zombie game Dying Light restricts fan mods. The official patch notes explain that Dying Light's data files have been changed in an effort to curb cheating, but it appears this measure also blocks user mods. GameSpot has since updated the report. Techland issued a statement noting that it is currently working on another patch that will re-enable modding. Techland explained they support the modding communities and are looking into addressing the issue. Sony Online Entertainment, the company responsible for MMOs such as Planetside 2, H1Z1, and DC Universe Online, has broken away from Sony and is now operating as an independent company. The extraordinary transition was made possible after Columbus Nova, an investment management firm based in New York, had bought out the company for an undisclosed sum. This means that effective immediately, SOE will operate as an independent multi-platform game development studio. John Smedley, the president of the company, has also stated his intent to make Xbox One games. The sale of the business comes with a name change for SOE, which henceforth will refer to itself as Daybreak Game Company. The company urges that there will be no disruption to its current online games during the transition. And that's our news for today. Join us again tomorrow for games industry coverage as it unfolds. Good night, everyone.